I just told her this. Let's give it up for Anna. She's a great host, don't you guys think? Seriously, I really mean that. I'm, you know, I don't have to suck up because I'm already up here. <laughs> um, who's the one that was on the soap operas? What's your name? Forty Buckingham. Forty? Did you know that I was on Days of Our Lives? Yeah, that's on the West Coast, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be on the West Coast, but they killed me off, for it. They killed my character. Right? No, they <laughs> sent my character to jail. No, they killed. Well, they killed me off, and they, and my evil twin never came back. <laughs> Everybody's evil twin came back, but not mine. <laughs> evil twins of their evil twins came back, <laughs> but not me. And they had these magnificent deaths. They're eaten alive by Honduran red fire ants. They, they, were, they were thrown off the cliff by moose. Where did that come from? Me? My character went into the dentist office for a filling and I never came out. That's how they killed me off. And the guy loved it. He, he came into my office, my, my dressing room, said, Steve, guess what? Guess what, Steve? Um, we're killing you off. And it's during Sweeps Week. That's the week where they, the television shows have to get the ratings. Do you know what I mean? And he's delighted about this. And I said, Steve, well, I got a family to support. I got a insurance to make. He goes, Steve, you're not getting this. Sweeps Week. Sweeps Week. Like a fucking parrot on steroids. Sweeps Week. Sweeps Week. Motherfucker. You might, you might see this tape. Anyway, I say this all the time in, in, in the comedy clubs that I do it, but I live in Newburyport, Massachusetts. And I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. But I'm from Detroit. <laughs> so anything was gonna be a step up. <laughs> no offense. You know why did I say that, no offense? I meant to fence, goddammit. The fence was meant. I hate when people do that. They come up to me and go, Steve, no offense, but you repulse me. <laughs> How can I not take offense? Hey, uh, Steve, no offense. Uh, 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 all due respect. This is the other one. All due respect. When people, you know what? When I, if I get five minutes up here and I say no offense again, I want you guys all in unison to say, offense meant. Let's practice. <laughs> Boy, this is an ugly group. No offense. Offense. You goddamn right. Because you have to look around in this room, too. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no. And then they say, all due respect. All due respect. When they say all due respect, head for the hills. Because they're going to say something disrespectful. All due respect, but uh, your mother sucks eggs. <laughs> Now, where was, the, where was the due respect? But they neutralized me by saying, all due respect. All due respect, but all due, you know, all due respect, but your mother wears army boots. <laughs> well, all due respect, and no offense, but my mother did wear army boots. She had plantar petulitis. <laughs> I'm getting kind of emotional here. <laughs> Speaking of Detroit, <laughs> I got nowhere else to go, by the way. My family, growing up in the 60s in Detroit, everybody was either Polish or Italian and Catholic. Everybody. And, and everybody went to church on Sunday, and if you didn't, they knew. And there was a black mark on your house. It was a scarlet letter on your garage door. And, and my mom, who was this Italian, volatile Italian, not that all Italians are volatile, no offense. <laughs> Where did my team go? Offense taken, it's goddamn right. And my father, she came my father, who was neither Italian, nor Polish, nor Catholic, he was an anomaly. I just looked up that word. He was an anomaly. And then my mom would make him go, you got to take us, you got to take us, the whole family. We all are going to go to hell and you don't go to the whole family. 45 minutes she made to take him to go to St. Martin the Poorest 
because her cousin Annabella Banzanani went there. <laughs> you gotta go, you gotta take it. By the way, my mom didn't talk that way. I was just going for a cheap, stereotypical laugh. <laughs> But my dad went, with clenched teeth he went, he went, he went to, the, to the thing, to the mass. And after the sermon, when they passed the basket for the church, <laughs> I hate to say this, my dad used to take money out. <laughs> Gas for God, he'd say. I won't pay. 45 minutes, no, no, I won't pay, it's a pirate's wage. A pirate's wage. He didn't talk that way. It's just a cheap, stereotypical Scottish joke, which he hated. You want to hear another one? Yeah. Scotsman goes into a bar, has a few beers, goes into the bathroom to take a piss, sees a quarter in the urinal, looks around, takes a quarter out of his pocket, throws it in the urinal. He says, I won't pick it up for a quarter, but for 50 cents, I'll do it. And my dad hated those jokes. In his real voice, so this is his real voice. He said, you know, Steve, you know, Scottish people, though, they don't talk that way. They're not, you know, they're, they're not cheap. They're, you know, he was very offended by that. They don't, they're, they're not cheap. And, and he was wearing an extension cord for a belt. <laughs> a white extension cord to go with his white buck shoes because he looked like a cheap Pat Boone, which is what he wanted to do. Yeah, I got these resentment issues. I'm sorry, it's my time. I just got to tell you about my group. I'm in the self-help group with these self-help books and everything, and they tell me, Steve, resentment to your family in the past is a cup of poison. You mean, you mean for them to drink, but you drink it too. So you're both about to drink the same cups of poison. And I say, okay. If we're both about to drink the same cups of poison, then absolutely after you. <laughs> Bottoms up. Age before beauty. Here's a couple of the things my group said. When the going get tough, the tough get going. Where? Where do they go? Pray for your enemies. This is the beautiful one. Pray for your enemies. Guys, have you done this? Did, have you done this? Do you pray for your enemies? Pray for Stuart Rogers, who stole your girlfriend, Reba Neister Isaac, in the in New York in the 80s and lived to tell about it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, Stuart. <laughs> That's it for me, I had a ball, thank you. There she 